Hi everyone, Shahan Wicks here at AudiSportExpert.ca Located at Audi Midtown, that's where I reside And today I'm going to actually show you some of the advanced driver assistance features that are in the Audi Now here you can see I have both hands on the wheel And I'm in my trusty 22 uh, Audi e-tron here and I've set it up so that we can show you how to use the Audi Active Cruise Control, the ACC. So here we are. As everybody knows, cruise control, set it at a speed and it just follows that speed. Now with the Active Cruise Control, here we go. We're going to turn it on and my, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's seeing the kilometers are speed limit is at 60 kilometer max so it's following that there's a vehicle in front of me i have the distance set to four seconds to follow so it gives me a nice gap on that i have my active lane assist which i can turn off or on there and when you're over 65 kilometers it's going to activate itself on that now I'm just changing lanes and uh, well I'm heading to work right now so I'm gonna show how this actually works once I get into the lane as you can see if you get too close to a vehicle it will warn you just getting on the on-ramp to the highway I would suggest not using the active cruise control on a ramp because it picks up the kilometers of 30 or 40 kilometers and it doesn't like that so turn that off to do the so you just push that outwards and then we're gonna set it at 108 is what I usually do once I can get back into the lane. So turn it on, pull it towards you, pull up a hard notch, it goes to 110, and then I bring it down by one, two quick steps down, and it's now set at 108. Now if I bring this into this mode, I'm not sure you can see it, I'm just following a vehicle with four seconds to follow, so it gives it a nice big gap on there. And I'll switch it back. So I just let it cruise at 108, and I'm in the first lane, so I'm going kind of slow, as my wife tells me. So it's going to follow that vehicle and give a nice big gap between you and the vehicle in front of you. Now once again active cruise control is down here. I can set the distance to higher. If I pull, push this lever up I can make it five seconds to follow. I can bring it all the way down to one second to follow and now I'm speeding up because I'm giving it only one second to follow closer to the vehicle in front of me but I like to be at a comfortable one, two, three, four seconds to follow. Gives a good gap because if a car wants to cut in front of you, plenty of space. If a vehicle wants to cut in front of you, there's plenty of space. Your vehicle will back off and give him room. And if you're in an electric vehicle, it regenerates while it's doing that. So as you can see, I'm set at 108 here but I am actually doing 91 on this. So I hope that gives you an idea of how to use the active cruise control. Now, another thing you should know that if there's a big gap between you and the vehicle ahead of you and it's way ahead, but they've come to a stop, I would suggest turning it off and slowing down manually because what'll happen is your vehicle won't detect it until probably to the end where it's four seconds to follow and then it's going to slam the brakes on it so if you see a vehicle way ahead 
and it's come to a stop, slow down manually and you'll have a much pleasant drive. If you have any questions about how to use active cruise control or want further tutorials on certain features in your Audi, please contact me. Uh, AudiSportExpert.ca is my landing page and you can contact me directly from there. So hope you have a pleasant drive. Use your active cruise control whenever you can and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Please like and subscribe to see further Audi tutorials. Bye for now.